Mango Math presents Factor Game, a fourth grade game. The Factor Game is a fourth grade game that falls under the math strand of algebraic thinking, and it's an algebraic thinking activity that has students finding all the factor pairs for a whole number in the range of 1 to 100 and recognize the multiples of each of these factors. Factor Game has some math terms to help increase understanding which are factor, a whole number that divides exactly into another number, including itself. A proper factor, any factor other than one in itself. Prime, a number that has only two factors, one in itself. And composite, a number with more than two factors. The supplies that are provided in the pouch along with your information sheet and directions is a factor game board, and factor scoreboard, dry erase marker and eraser, and bicolor counters. To play this game, the students will be in uh, either be two players or four players with two players on a team. Each uh, player or each team will have one of the red card or the yellow card. To start this game, the red players will always go first because they have multiple on the top of their game board. And they are going to select any number on the game board that they would like to cover. And they will take their marker and cover that whatever color. So let's say the red players decide to cover up 27. So they're going to put 27 as the points that they earn for that, uh, for the number that they covered. The other players are going to be yellow, and they are going to find the factors that make 27 and they're going to cover those factors so they get to cover the 3 and the 9 and they can write up on the board 3 and 9 and they can add those two numbers together and 3 plus 9 equals 12 they are then going to have a 12 on the board and they can race the 3 and the 9 now because they don't need those numbers anymore and just have the 12 so the multiple that this red team played actually was to their benefit because the yellow team didn't score as many points on it as um, if they had selected another number. They had less points than 27, so it was a good selection by the red team. So let's say it's the yellow team's turn now, and they are going to cover up with the yellow marker a number. And let's say they covered up 41, and they put 41 up on their game board. Well, the red team now has to find factors, and they realize that they cannot find any factors other than 1 and 41. And in this game, you can only find proper factor, factors, which mean any number, any factors other than one and the number itself. So they cannot score any points off of that 41 and they need to cross it out or erase it. And they get no points for that round of play. So then it's back to the red team and they're going to take their 41 counter off. They could leave it on there if they want to. Uh, so that they remember not to cover it again or they can take it off. In this case I'm going to take it off. So it's going to be the other team's turn again and they get to choose another multiple and let's say they choose 40 and they're going to write 40 on their board. Now the other team gets to find factors that make 40. So let's say they cover the 4 and the 10 and the 5 and the 8 and they write that up 4, 10, 5, and 8. They're going to add those numbers together, and they get the total of 27, which isn't a bad score, but it's not as high as 40. So it's a good for the team red because they still have more points now. But 40 might also, or the red team might also notice that the team failed to cover up two factors, 2 and 20. So they are going to then add 2 and 20 to their score and add another 22 points. So they actually now have, from that round, they will have 62 points. If the other team had gotten that four, that 2 and that 20 and added it to their 27, they would have earned 49 points, which would have been more than the multiple of 40. So that would have been a good uh, factor score for the yellow team. But because they missed that those ones, they didn't get any those points. and so. It goes to the red team. So they're going to continue on covering up factors and covering up multiples and factors on their game board 
until they can finally get a total score and they'll write that total score down. And they are not trying to get any numbers in a row, they're just trying to cover up board, uh, counters on the board. If they happen to have covered up a multiple whose factors are already covered by the yellow, that's just to the disadvantage of the yellow team. Some guided questions to promote critical thinking. What number is a good choice for a first move and why? What number would be a poor choice for a first move and why? And is it possible to circle all the numbers on the board? Why or why not? Is it possible to cover them up basically, not circle them, but cover them up? Why or why not? So some good questions. It's actually a very fun game. The kids enjoy it. And it's never the same game twice because kids always choose different multiples. But it's a great way for them to understand multiples and understand factors. Enjoy.